It wasn't that hard to make a shade go up and down, but it was pretty hard to make it do it silently. It was pretty hard to make it do it within a sixteenth of an inch across an entire curtain wall. Our founder, Joel Spira, had a vision that if we were going to be the number one lighting control company in the world, how could you do that if you did not control the number one light source in the world, which was the sun? And so by developing beautiful and seamless automated shades, we're able to create the perfect environment by managing that light source first, and now you can have flexibility day or night to have the perfect lighting environment. When you talk about automated shades with a homeowner, they have certain expectations. When you have a room that has 30, 40 windows, it's the expectation that all of those shades move in alignment. It's actually very difficult to do. Our drive technology is actually monitoring the position of that hembar over 100 times a second to make sure that we know where that shade is so we can monitor the movement. When we got into this business 30 years ago, one of the problems was shades were noisy. We said if we want this elegant system, we can't have this loud solution. You want the shades to move and it's magic. The existing gear trains that were out there really weren't that quiet. And so we really needed to start from scratch. We've had several innovations in our, in our gear trains to keep things quiet. From the day it gets installed till 20, 30 years down the road. And our spec is 38 dBA, but we, we outperform our spec most of the time. We wanted to give our customers the flexibility of being able to add shades, you know, after the, the building or the house was built. And so we knew that we wanted to develop a battery shade pretty early on, I would say. Nobody wants to change the batteries. So how do we extend the lifetime that we can get out of every shade? We needed to cut out over 99% of the energy. So we had to think about everything. And RF was at the top of the list. So we needed to communicate without draining the batteries and, but we still need to do inst, you know, instant response. They all move at the same time. It required a whole new way of thinking and a whole new way of communicating to the shades so that we got the same performance with battery powered shades as we did with wired shades. And we would not enter the market until we had solved that challenge. When we have battery life, you know, as, as great as five, six, seven years, you can set it and forget it. So at Lutron, we make lighting control systems. So when we are thinking about features or capabilities for Homeworks or Radio Raw 3, for example, we think about how those features might work with shades. Take the wood blind, for example. It can automatically tilt at the press of a button and control that daylight coming in. But when you put a system behind that, that system can talk to the shade, it knows what direction that shade is facing, it knows the position of the sun on that facade of the home, and that blind can now automatically change over the course of the day to optimize the amount of daylight coming in. That can only be done when the technology is designed from the start to incorporate shades into a system. One of the things that's made Lutron different in this space from the beginning is we're able to guarantee performance and quality at a level really no one else has a chance to do. People think about design. We spend as much time figuring out how we're gonna manufacture it. All the products, they've been designed and manufactured from scratch by Lutron. We take every shade that we build, hang it up on the wall, and test every shade before we put it in a box and send it out. So when you get the shade, we know it works. The opportunity that exists is to take a category that has almost zero penetration today and build your business around that category. The opportunity right now is enormous. I think this is a, a piece of the business that really all of our integrators should have in their portfolio. And they're gonna find it's gonna be one of the best and most profitable pieces of their business. Shade companies struggle to bring technology. Technology companies struggle with design and fashion. And we are really the only company poised to bring those things together and make great, great products.